Hey guys, it's Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit different. I don't think I've ever done subscription box unboxings on my channel before. So if you like these kinds of videos, let me know and I'll do them more often. So I just freshly subscribed to BoxyCharm by Ipsy. So I thought I'll open my first box with you on camera and I'll do some swatches. I'll try out the products, give you my first impressions. This video is not sponsored. This is not PR. I paid for it with my own money. And I don't want to take too much time off of this video talking about the subscription. So all the information you need to know about it, along with a link to subscribe to it if you're interested, are going to be in the description box of this video. What I am going to tell you is just the main things you need to know about it. It's a monthly subscription box. It's $30 per month. Uh, with shipping and tax, it comes to around $34. It is valued up to $200 per box. You get five full-size products. And what I like the most about it is that it's very personalized. In the beginning of each month, you have a small window to choose three out of the five products that are going to be in your box. And the other two, Ipsy chooses for you based on your beauty profile, which is a little quiz that you take when you sign up first, as well as your purchase history, all that good stuff, which means that not everybody gets the same products, which I love. So without any further ado, let's dive right into this baby. So my box came a little squished, and when you open it, it's kind of like not even, like it just kind of falls apart. Let me know if your box is like that too. So the first thing in the box is a little newsletter that tells you uh, the theme of this month and the power picks for this month and some more good information. So that's really cute. The theme this month is welcome home. This month come out of hibernation to embrace a dreamy new world filled with heavenly makeup, planet positive faves and vitamin powered skincare to bring out your inner glow. So that's that. And let's see what we have in here. Let's look, it looks like we have a lot of stuff. I'm excited. So the first thing I see in the box is this First Aid Beauty Hydrating Eye Cream with Hyaluronic Acid, Safer Sensitive Skin. I love that, I love skincare. So obviously I can't really test it out to give you my first impressions on this, but I'm definitely going to be incorporating this into my skincare routine. And I just pulled off um, my, the little email that they sent me with explanations about each product. So this is hydrating eye cream with hyaluronic acid, fine lines, puffiness, dryness. This fast absorbing eye cream helps address them all thanks to plumbing, hyaluronic acid, deep puffing caffeine, and soothing collodial oatmeal. That sounds really good. I'm really excited to try that and I'll be seeing how that works out for me. Then the next product that I see here is this eyeshadow palette. I love receiving eyeshadow palettes in subscription boxes. I haven't been subscribed to many subscription boxes, but um, yeah, when I get eyeshadow palettes, especially full size, I get really excited. This is the Violet Voss Pretty in Paradise palette. I've never tried Violet Voss eyeshadows before. Let me know if you did and if you like it. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. It has a little mirror and it has six eyeshadows and two blushes it looks like or like a bronzer slash blush wow this blush is really sparkly so pretty in paradise all-in-one face and eyeshadow palette pretend you're in paradise with this beautiful face and eyeshadow palette this carefully curated collection is designed to transport you to the lush landscapes and vibrant colors of a tropical paradise whether you're aiming for a subtle daytime glow or a bold tropical inspired evening look these shadows deliver a stunning result. I wonder if the sparkles on this blush are going to come off and like fall out, but I really love the pop of color that they added here with this little teal color. So we're going to try that in a minute. The next thing in the box is this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color. So I'm really excited about that. I love Laura Mercier, especially their Secret Brightening Powder. I've used that a lot. And this is an eyeshadow stick. That looks so gorgeous. I love this rose gold on it. And ooh, this is the color. Rose Glow Caviar Stick Eyeshadow in Forbidden Rose. Need a stunning eye look in a pinch? This shimmering plum rose eyeshadow stick delivers effortless application, buildable color, and up to 12 hour long lasting wear. Wow. You can easily smudge, blend, and line your eyes for effortless look in just a few swipes. I'm excited. 12 hour wear. 
That is supposed to be long lasting. I love the color on this. This is the types of colors that I'm gravitating towards to emphasize my green eyes. So we're definitely gonna use that today as well. I also love that they have the actual color of the product on the end of the little cap right here. This formula is so soft. As I was swatching it, it was just gliding on. Next in the box is this brush set, which I'm really excited about because I really needed some new brushes in my collection. And this is the Biod, B-Y-O-D, not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Five piece eye brush set. This travel friendly set of makeup brushes has arrived to take your makeup to the next level. You'll get five brushes, the accent shadow brush, the fused shadow brush, liner smudge brush, angled liner brow brush, and sculpting crease brush that are made with synthetic bristles and deliver professional results. This looks really well made. Like I love the black and rose gold. gold. I love the black and rose gold on them. That look really pretty. And this is what the brushes look like. They feel really soft. Oh, can't wait to use those. We're gonna use those today with the other eyeshadows I've got. And the last but not least thing in the box is this eyeliner. Oh, it says beauty's best kept secret on the bottom of the box, that's cute. So this eyeliner is the Elite That Light, Light, I can't pronounce anything, I swear. It's L-I-T-H-E, High Definition Gel Eyeliner. Gel eyeliner pen with built-in angled brush. That is so cool. Never tried this brand before, never heard of this brand actually. Let me know if you did and if you like it. So this is like a dual-ended pencil. It has a really tiny refined angled brush on one end, which I love because if you know me and if you've been watching my videos, you know how much I love to smudge my eyeliner pencil with an angled brush. I barely use liquid liner, really. I normally use a pencil and then I, an angled brush to smudge it. So this is two in one, it's great for traveling for me and a very, very slim black pencil. This is really cool. Let's see what it says about it. Light lashes, high definition gel eyeliner in 100% black. This creamy black eyeliner checks all the right boxes. It's ultra pigmented, long lasting and blendable. So you can achieve whatever eye look fits your vibe. It also comes with a built-in angled brush to help you create your masterpiece. All right, let's try out all these products. All right, so I completed my lashes and my lips off camera and I do have some initial thoughts about these products. Obviously, I'll have to keep using them to build my solid opinion about them. But right off the bat, um, these eyeshadows, I really love the color story. I was really tempted to use this teal shade from here on my inner corners, but I kind of really like how this turned out and I didn't want to take the chance of ruining it with another color. So about the um, bronzer, uh, or this brownish shade called coconut cream. It's very pigmented and it's very warm. 
not it's like a little too orangey for my liking to use it as a bronzer but maybe i'll use it as a blush but make sure to use it really lightly because it's very pigmented as for the blush island rose i do see some sparkles left but not a lot so a lot of those sparkles actually do fall off and this one is really pigmented as well so you really want to use light hand with these two as for the eyeshadows there's they're very um soft and very like they do have a lot of fallout so you do want to top off any excess they're very light and fluffy but i do love the color story as i said or maybe it's the brushes because the brushes are also very very soft and very fluffy i would use all of them maybe except of this one the dance one all of these for not really so much for packing or application but more so for blending and make sure to top off any x tap off any excess because I was trying to apply some of this, like I was going for the halo eye and I was trying to apply some of the middle shade in the middle with this packing brush, but it really didn't do much of a great job of packing. So I ended up using my finger, but it is going to be really good for blending, maybe under the lower lash line if you wanna smudge it out a little bit and blend it out and be, still be very precise. Other than that, I love how soft they are. I love the appearance of them. They feel very good, feel very solid, and are great for traveling. So that's about that. I love the Caviar Stick by Laura Mercier. I love the shade. Glides on very smoothly. Really pigmented. Just, I love everything about it. And if it's going to really last for 12 hours, I'm going to be so impressed. And it's going to be awesome. Love this eyeliner as well, but it dries out really quickly. So I wouldn't work with two eyes at the same time like I did in the video. I would do one eye at a time and I would work in little sections and smudge it out to like apply a little bit, smudge it out with the brush, apply, smudge, rather than applying the whole line and then trying to smudge it with the angled brush because it dries out really fast. But it does mean that it's probably going to last for a long time because if it dries out, it stays put, it's not gonna smear, it's not gonna smudge, it is very soft, very pigmented just make sure to work fast with it so that is it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it are you subscribed to any beauty subscription boxes do you like them would you recommend let me know in the comments below are you subscribed to boxycharm did you get the same products that i did did you get other products what did you get in your box let's chat in the comments and i will see you in my next video bye